Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded series. Let's jump on in 13 streak. Let's randomize once more, see who we might get. Tainted Mastema. We haven't played Tainted Mastema in a little while, so let's just do it. Uh, this is the Tainted version, yes. This guy is, he can be a little bit saucy. I, I do love this character though. I think just the Sanguine Bond stuff, getting Devil Deals early, all that good stuff. It's all a lot of fun. Um, slot Machines, that's going to spawn stuff at the start of the floor. That's nice. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump straight in. Question of the day today. Question of the day today. I, I, I've asked this one before, or at least something similar. I asked, what's um, what's the last thing you ate? This time it's, what's the last thing you drank? What's, what's the last? And th that, like, water doesn't count. <laughs> Everyone drinks water all the time. Mm. Ghost bombs for two broken hearts. I, as much as I do want the bombs, I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, what's the, la the simple question today, what's the last thing that you drank? For me, I'm currently drinking a Monster Energy drink because I am fully addicted to caffeine and I don't drink tea or coffee. I don't know why. I've tried tea and coffee a lot and people say, oh, you like it as you get older and like, I am older now and I still don't like it. Same with beer. Everyone's always like, oh yeah, beer is just one of those tastes that you like when you get older. No, beer tastes like ass. I hate beer. There is not a single beer that I've drank and gone, ooh, this is delicious. I would drink this over anything else. No. Ooh, that is definitely a must here. Good, good. Oh, it makes our character look a little bit funky, I will say. Do you know what? We don't really need to complete much more of this floor here. Let's just go down. Um, we're meant to be doing the lamb here, so we'll just make our way. That removes one of our broken hearts. Oh, wow. This trinket is insane. Are you kidding me? What the hell? That's crazy. Ooh, Dogtooth is another one I'll definitely take. Yeah, this trinket's pretty nuts. <laughs> That's, yeah, that, that's that's kind of absurd. Especially the crane game. Like, the rest, I'm kind of like, okay, that's fair. But crane game? Really? Crane game seems nuts. Really? It deleted my bomb? Are you kidding me? Very annoying. I gave him my bum back at least. I'm hoping for a, a key here because I would very much like to use the library because we are very, we're already one book on our way to Bookworm. So it's like Bookworm is pretty likely. And also just getting another book could be really nice. Like a Lemmageddon or something like that. Or a Book of Revelations. That'd be the Wombo combo of our dreams, wouldn't it? Okay. Green flies were about. Careful of them bad boys. They do some funky movements. I'd rather take them out before anything else, to be honest. Got ourselves the Empress. That'll be good for our boss. And remember, I need to remember that I've got false PhD. But yeah, I feel like, like, especially in terms of drinking alcohol, I always feel like people say, oh, well, uh, beer or whatever, lager is like one of those tastes that you just get as you get older. I've not found that at all. I, I still like prefer spirits or cider every time. Like... I've had beer that I've been able to tolerate, but like, like having a cider or like a cocktail, sometimes I would genuinely rather drink it over a normal drink because it tastes really good. But I, I've never thought that with a beer. Never once. Like it's just got a really horrible aftertaste in my opinion. And I don't know many other people that are like that. Ooh, that's good. We'll take that. Um, and I will also take that. Cool. We are sitting pretty. Unfortunately, we did not get a key, but I think our secret room's right here, so let's just try that out at least. That's just a lot more bombs, game. That's just a lot more bombs. Um, okay, let's just leave that for now, then. Let's get heading down. Health is a bit a bit risky. I've definitely played this. I've definitely played this quite, quite risky. Okay, okay, good. It, it does randomize what it gives you, which is not what I thought was going to be the case. Uh, I think I'll play these just to try and get, um, I don't know why it's not, like, playing it fast. Like, it should. Um, just trying to get some soul hearts. I want to get at least two or three, because my, I did go pretty hard on those deals there. My health isn't looking great. One moment. All right, let's continue on those. But, yeah, getting all of these dudes is going to be pretty useful every floor. Getting crystal ball is going to be pretty heckin' useful. We'll spawn either. Okay, this is good. A... Okay, that's, that's really nice, that is. 
Crystal Ball is incredible. Incredible. It's one of my favorite active items just because it's like a it's like a three in one. You can get cards, you can get soul hearts, and you always get mapping. And I think both cards and soul hearts, they have equal value in my opinion. If you don't need the health, then soul hearts are a bit are not as useful. But if you need the health and they're really good, and then cards just kind of fit in all the time, they're they're always gonna be good. Um I might as well play this guy actually, because he's gonna give us charges, um, which will give us soul hearts in effect. There you go. Activates a random tarot. Can teleport you to the item error. I'll go to my item room first. I don't have a key, so it's better to bomb in. Unfortunately, I don't know what this is. I will take it. Uh, I'm a little upset about that. Although I did get, I did get a very nice boost to my luck there. Considering this guy has terrible luck, that's pretty decent. Look based tier effects on this guy aren't really the best way forward. Okay. Flight up there is very, very nice. Pop that. Pop that. But now we have two ways to generate HP, which is, is just going to be awesome for us. Having two ways to generate HP is going to be super, super useful. This is... Why did I stand there? I didn't realize there was gas. It's fine. It works. Let's pop this death card in here. Didn't do that much damage to him. As long as we can get a few hits of this. I need to take into account that this guy starts with really low luck, actually, when I pick up items. Because I picked up Little Horn and didn't really think about the fact that it won't be activating all that often. Although I think there is, like, a minimum chance to activate, even if your luck's really low. It's not like if you have really low luck, it just won't activate ever. Abaddon is really nice here. Cool, get rid of some of that. This is free, so I'll take it. Pop that. This was super useful. It just popped a bunch of pills and gave us a bunch of HP. Okay. Right. Just trying to figure out what's best to do with the rest of this run. I'm playing this incredibly risky. I could definitely lose my streak playing this guy. But... I'm kind of fine. I like. I don't really care that much about the streak anyways, but also, like, I just like playing Risky. It's more fun. Way more fun. Good, good. Okay, good. You're gone as well. Okay, keep Acetonic Bible just in case. I'll bomb this because it's not very good. Okay. Where was our other second secret room? Back over this way somewhere. I heard the howl. Gotta remember we've got Dog's Tooth here. There it is. So it's probably here. Black chest. It depends. Do you know? This could be pretty good. Didn't mean to pop that, but I popped it anyways. It kind of works, actually. Judgment. Whatever. Okay, we're all out of that. We didn't we didn't gain much from that, but there you go. We got some damage out of it. It's nice enough. Right, down we go. This this is just a very strange run in general, I'll be honest. There's, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. We're playing pretty risky, but I like that. Thank you for that. Yeah, it seems like it's activating often enough. It's, it's not really, really rare. Seems like we've got, like, really good damage right now as well, which is nice. Definitely want to remove some of these broken hearts. We have quite a lot. I'm just going to bomb this. I realize I should just wait until I get money. Do you know what? I'll take that simply because this just gives us an out. The one problem I foresee with this is, say I... Uh, ooh, 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 I forgot about horror... Ah, oh, this... Uh, these grimaces are the worst. Um, One thing that I kind of am unsure about. Say I die as this character and go to blue baby and i've got this many broken hearts and i tend to bro i tend to blue baby i'll probably keep all these broken hearts that's fine but will i still be able to remove them through sanguine bond or are they just stuck forever now because i have to be really careful if they're stuck i'm gonna presume they're stuck forever because 
the ability to remove them is tied to the character, not the item. So, yeah, I've got to be pretty careful if I do end up respawning as Blue Baby. I need to be respawning on a very minimal amount of Broken Hearts. Definitely not this many. This is way too much. Even though I've got full health, I will pop Satanic Bible just so we can trade um, HP for Devil Deal items on the boss. I should probably just leave it for a boss item, to be honest, but I'm doing pretty well. Nonetheless, so I don't really mind. This is so annoying. This is a lot of corn flies. I don't even know. Are they corn flies? I don't really know what to call them. Them the little things. Okay, hopefully this time we can make the shop work a little more. We've got okay money. It's kind of coming together. Okay, I've got a sack room here that does remove broken hearts, so I'll, I'll at least do one of those. There you go. A nice amount of removed. Ah, God, I did not mean to get hit there. I mean, obviously I never mean to get hit, but I didn't expect to get hit is more so what I meant. Bombs will appear more often. We'll pop that on the next floor. Give me death certificate again. <laughs> not quite as lucky this time. That, that was crazy last time, getting death certificate. First time I've had death certificate in the Mega Modded series, right? I don't know. It might, it might be first time, but... Best time that I've, I've got in recent memory. Nice. Gives us a black heart. That's a bad trip. Yeah, I don't really think that's going to work for us. <laughs> Spawns one black heart to deal two black hearts worth of damage. Not great. Trying to use black powder when I can, but it's, it's not an item that really makes that much of a difference. So I'm not that bothered. Electric Dice. Electric Dice is a must-take item. I'm a little little apprehensive to do so. Wait, do we have any battery charges in the shop? We don't. We do have a pill, though. That's just an I found pills, though. Yeah, I'm a little apprehensive to do so because our health, like our amount of broken hearts is, is ridiculously high now. But my thinking is... Electric Dice makes it have a chance to activate once two more times on your active items. If that works for both of our actives, we could get quite a lot of health here. Unfortunately, I think we'll, if we take that, we will die. I, I really want to risk it and see if I can take it and then while it's being taken, pick this up. But I don't know if that will work. I kind of want to gamble. Do you know what? Mm. I don't know. I kind of want to gamble on that. Okay, I've got I've got a bit bit of a better idea here. Let's just go back and complete some more rooms. Let's see if we can get some more black hearts from uh, electric dice plus our active. That was a card. Okay, so yeah, we did get some more black hearts there. That's good. That's so there, there you go. We've already solved my problem here. We've already solved my problem. The only thing is, this is two more broken hearts on the docket, which is not good. Not good at all. But, this this is just a risky run all in all. This, this really is a crazy risky run. I'm, I'm playing this like an idiot, but I'm really enjoying myself. This I love this character. He's just the embodiment of risk. And it's just like, the, the, the amount of devil deal items you get to have is pretty good. Probably going to be using all my bombs trying to find this. Oh, no, I found it. There you go. Our oh, half soul heart. That's rather nice. We'll crack that open as well. Oh, we got a curled and savage heart. That one gives us a pretty big damage boost for a short time. Good, good. But yeah, I think health-wise we're going to be fine. I just hope we can get rid of enough broken hearts is kind of my, my current thinking. Because at the minute we basically can't take any new items uh, because we just have too many broken hearts. So we need a, a way to like remove a good amount of these. That gave us a devil chest. That gave us two soul hearts. That's a black heart.
Okay, so we got a lot of a lot of hearts there to play around with. No sack room on this floor, which means it's a little harder to get rid of those broken hearts. Because I, I wanted to have all the hearts on the floor there to be able to use them. Oh my god, can I stop getting hit by this dude, please? What the hell? Lard. No thank you. Grab that. Probably should have grabbed the black heart, but oh well. But yeah, it seems like we're going to be perpetually on three hearts for the remainder of this run, pretty much. Because, like, do, do I bother? Do I even bother going to my care room? Because it's like, if I find an item, I can't take it. If I find health, it doesn't matter. But it's like, why? Why would I bother? It kind of seems a little pointless right now. What am I doing? It's a bad way to play this room. We got it. So yeah, at the minute I'm just gonna kind of just, just gonna kind of keep pushing through, charge up my actives and just save them for the next floor, I guess. Hopefully we get a devil deal here in which I can, um, in which I can get rid of some of these hearts. Only a few though, but some of these bro broken hearts. Bob's brain. A scratcher card here, which gave us another scratcher card, which gave us a lot of chests. Wow. Damn it. Of course. You bastard. Of course, the first one I opened didn't give us any keys back. I was really hoping it would. That's another black heart. Yeah, it's just kind of a weird run all in all, really, isn't it? Okay, I don't know if I've used Satanic Bible this floor at all. I don't think I have, but I'm going to assume that I have. Oh, that was a really bad hit. So, I, like, I don't really care about being hit at this stage. It's mainly the wound that I'm worried about. The wound could go wrong so quickly. Box is, of course, useless. We did ind indeed get a devil deal here. So I think we go boom and boom. Didn't mean to take entropy there. That was... Almost really bad. Joker to go to a black market here. Yeah, I did not mean to take entropy, if you're curious. So now we can go back over this way, grab all the hearts that are on the floor, which isn't a huge amount, but... Yeah, I, I've played this in, in a way that I, I don't know, I can't tell if I'm playing right or not. I feel like I'm not, I feel like there's a, quite a lot I'm doing wrong. <laughs> but at the same time, like, it's coming together, so can't be that bad. Right. So now let's go and do some of these rooms here. Because, like, I feel like I just removed a ton of broken hearts, and yet somehow I feel like I'm on the exact same amount of broken hearts that I started on. I think that might be because I picked up Entropy, but also, Entropy's a pretty busted good item anyways, so I'm not sad about picking it up, but I did not mean to pick it up. It was also free, so it's like... It's not like I accidentally paid for it. That, that would have killed me had I have accidentally paid for it. Ooh, we got a golden key. That's super useful. I was mainly doing that for the charges, but goddamn, a golden key. We've got that room with just all the golden chests in it. Good, good. So yeah, now we complete a few more rooms. I still don't want Bob's rotten head, though. Oh, Bob's brain, sorry, was it? I think it's Bob's brain, isn't it? That was bullshit. So now we can pop Satanic Bible. We're up to full HP here. I think we will... Actually, we'll take that. And we make our way back over. Don't think we care about the shop now, actually. Pop in here real quick. Open up all of these. Ayo. Unfortunately, health that we cannot get. Still gives us a lot of keys though and a lot of money. Now we do now we do actually care about the shop. I'm just gonna walk there though, because I'd rather have the rooms completed. We got a second secret room in here somewhere. Did not expect that. I guess I could try and find it. I don't know where it is. I'm, I'm so bad at, like, guessing where the door is. I don't know. Um, 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know the like. I don't think it's worth two broken hearts. Right, so let's pop this. Whoa, look at this fella. Look at him. That's pretty amazing. Right. I also don't think any of these are really worth it. I was hoping one of them would be pretty good, but anyways, let's just hop down to the next floor. Hop on down. Oh my god, bad. Got a bad trip here, which will give us a black heart. Oh, I didn't mean to bloody play that, dude, you fucker. Hey, crawl space. Uh, Mother's Love, I'm almost certain that is. The silhouette here is going to be very difficult to spot. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I can play this. I have no idea what I'm rolling. <laughs> I could see one of them was Mother's Love, but other than that, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Right, good, good. Going for our shop again here. I, I don't know if I'm really looking for items or whatnot. I really don't know. Back up to full HP again. We don't have a sack room again, which is a shame. Really hoping we have a sack room this time. Um, here? Dude, why can I never guess where the secret room... Like, where is this secret room? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm so bad at, like, in the big rooms knowing where the door meets. Like, it's definitely there. Stop deleting my bombs, you goddamn shithead. Good, good. We've now got a lot more broken heart space to play with, so the shop is a little more viable. I can I kind of forgot last floor that we'd end up getting a free broken heart removal at the end of the floor as well. You can be I got a little more leeway when you have that. Okay. Get him taken care of. Another soul heart if we need it. Not that we do. This run has really, like, we don't even have that many items that are contributing towards how crazy this is, but it is pretty crazy. Beautiful. I love the fact that with Entropy, we're now, like, one-shotting a lot of enemies. Like, just one burst kills them. Okay, apparently my dips are uh, taking care of you guys. I just don't know what it is. It's just a circle. It could be anything. The silhouettes is is like a, a it's a really good curse. But if you if you want to actually like deduct what what you're looking at, it's really pretty impossible when you have um, resprite mods on. You don't yet know the resprites. It makes it very very difficult. Off that off. That's not what I meant to do. God damn it. Golden battery. That's actually very useful on a, on a regular run. On this run, it's not so good. Right, so we're not killing the boss super quick here. We're doing okay. We are going to make boss rush if we want as well. Which I don't know if I do yet. I mean, we'll guess we'll just see what items it has to offer. Because we're just going to get a lot of soul hearts from doing boss rush, so. We're meant to be going to the lamb, so let's take this. So, is there any of these that I can tell? Yeah. I don't quite know what this is, the heart. That's ja Isaac's Jarretteers, that's Vasculosis. And this could be Chemical Peel, I think. I'm, I'm going to skip out again. I know it's kind of a bitch tactic. I'm not really taking full advantage. But at the same time, I don't want to risk my run for something that's like... That, that might be completely worthless. I will play this dude, though. There you go. Got one already. 
I'll grab that in a heartbeat. Ow. It's okay to double soul heart drop. I just love having this mapping. The mapping's so useful. And we can just like shotgun blast these with entropy. Get right up in their face and we hit them with like five shots in one go. It's awesome. A lot of the smaller enemies are just going to insta-die. And then once they're done, we're hitting with um, the, the, the tooth as well, which is really good. Oh, I was just about to say I don't care about the keys, but we've actually only got three, so yes, I do. That's a room that I don't care about. Oh, it didn't even finish the room. That, that I always feel so cheated when that happens. When I use death card in a room and it doesn't even finish the room. Like, when it's a boss, I don't really care. But when it's a regular room, I'm like, hey. Hey. Ow. Okay. It just opened the chest as I entered the room. That wasn't really what I wanted, but okay. Thank you. I like the way it's like, you failed, but it also gave us a dime. <laughs> Seems like such a failure to get a dime. No way you're eating my crystal ball, thank you. You can suck my crystal balls if you want. Matriarch here. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, especially with what we got going on right now. It's going well. Ah, I got hit quite a lot there, but let's just completely ignore all of that bad damage. We also got a patched heart, which is super good here. Removed a broken heart for us. Um... Hmm. That makes that free, so we'll take that. I'm going to do that one more time. That makes that free. I don't think Vengeful Spirit's worth taking, though. I'm going to quickly backtrack just to get that Soul Heart. Do you know what? Actually, I'm going to do a few rooms and try and get, get a charge or two here. Because these rooms really aren't that hard. If we can charge up both of our actives here... Oh, damn, okay. Do I... Yeah, I was gonna say, do I want to go through here? Let's just wait until the all regen. I think we're good. That's a tricky room right there. Very cool room, though. <laughs> I think that's a vanilla one, though. I think that's just a vanilla difficult room. A uh, difficult room, rare room. Okay. But two more rooms, and we're probably good on HP. Got rid of a nice amount of broken hearts. I did, like re-receive a few broken hearts because I took um, money equals power. But that's kind of the reason I did it. So we pop that. That's going to give us boom, boom. Brent's Brimstone, a lot of the pit for a room. Nice. Okay, I think we're good to go. I think we are good to go. Let's make our way back. Make our way, way back. There we go. Oh, another sip of my monster. I kind of got sidetracked from my drink conversation. That's one thing that I find with Isaac quite a lot. I usually spend the first half, like the easy bit of the run, just talking about whatever the hell I want. And the last half is normally very Isaac focused because I'm kind of, I'm focusing. But also, I do kind of like the aspect of, of this series um, and just playing games on my channel. Of it being at least somewhat educational. Like, obviously not like... A tips and tricks video but i want to be able to like talk over my that was bad i want to be able to talk over my gameplay decisions and like sort of go over why i made them because i feel like a lot of the time i make decisions that people might not understand i also got brimstone here so let's uh why do i keep getting hit exactly what's what's going on i got hit like twice there and i have no idea what hit me beautiful I don't know where this blue ghost came from, by the way. Oh, I think he was from the Fettered Heart. The, the, the Fettered Hearts got changed, didn't they? Does it does it adopt my tier effects? If it does, that's a bit strong. Like, honestly, at this point, though, I'm kind of done, like, trying to justify or, like, think about what's overpowered in Repentance Plus because it's just all overpowered. And it's, I don't know. Feels like it's unlikely to change. I don't know. Unlikely to change soon. I think the devs are listening to feedback. 
But yeah, it's just there's a lot of powerful stuff in there that I, I don't think will change. Makes our runs a little easier, but hey ho. I don't know why I went through this room again. I already knew it was a dead end. And I got hit again? Are you kidding me? I, I just wanted the charges. Okay, I'm doing it again, but this time I'm going to actually not stand still ever. I don't think I've ever been hit by the hand so much. It's because I, like, I keep thinking there's none left and there's another one. Good old Ace of Hearts. Right. To the boss room we go. I might bomb through some rooms here, actually. I've got... Ah, oh, I've only got one bomb. Doesn't matter. Ignore me. I was going to say I've got enough bombs to just power through. I was looking at my money. Three full heart containers for the current room. That's an interesting one. I don't know what what cards the this mod is from. These new cards. But they're pretty cool. I like them. I think it's something wicked. Golden bomb now. That allows us to bomb through some rooms. I know we're not getting charges for these rooms, but it's like... I don't think I need them. Okay, there you go. Nah, honestly, I really like the trinket we have right now. This trinket is very strong. And I release you from your cage and instantly kill you. How do you feel? And one last guy. Pop that real quick. Okay, take care of these guys. I've just played a run. I don't know why I'm having proper deja vu that it's the last run. Because I was talking about uh, pets on that run, like what your favorite pet is. And I've got that question in my mind still, just because it was like fresh in my mind from earlier today, even though that wasn't today's episode. Good, good, we're going down, remember? I'm just absolutely overjoyed with the fact that we have mapping. What the hell? <laughs> Are you okay, game? For some reason they don't, like, we can't use the speedy mod on them to use them quicker. I will use all of my money to get Spoonbender here. This is quite unprecedented. Don't you dare, game. I can't believe you. How would you do such a heinous thing? Oh, lord. This is bullshit. <laughs> That's a lot of money to spend and get nothing for. Oh, and this is... I don't, I don't care if I only have one bomb. I'm not doing that room. Those, those grimaces, the missile launcher ones, are just ugh, gross. There's Herming. <laughs> we got Herming in the end. Ow. I would like some charges now because I've been hit quite a lot. Strength is okay for us, thank you. Mr. Whippy Tongues, don't get me. Don't catch me. Okay, this will charge up both our actives. This is kind of a hard room. A lot of metal blocks about. Obviously the Mega Troll Bombs. Do you know, I didn't know for the longest time that Mega Troll Bombs have a random fuse time. Like, do you know how sometimes you're like, oh shit, I've got, I've got to get away, and you've got, you think you've got loads of time and it just blows up on you. That's genuinely just because it's how they work. Like, they just don't always have the same fuse time. I didn't know that for a long time. Didn't pop the right bloody thing, God damn it! Wheel of Fortune. I'm, you can have a Wheel of Fortune. Three, two, one, and boom. That was a good bomb. That was a well-timed bomb. Don't know how this last floor's gonna go. I'm getting hit a lot. <laughs> like, it's, it's really good that my active items are allowing me to be really, really stupid, because I am being really, really stupid. I am not playing well at all, but my active items are allowing it. They're letting me get away with some dumb stuff. Dude. You see what I mean? This is what I mean by dumb stuff. I am playing like a, a world-class moron right now. It's these bloody leeches. 
And I got hit again. Bloody hell. Okay, so I could die on this next floor just, just for the sheer amount of times I got hit there. I was just about to say excuse me, but it did still spawn the items. I don't think there'll be a single one of these that I'm willing to take. I don't know what this one is here behind this guy. Oh, this this is a really good one, but right now I can't take it. Also, we are on very low broken hearts. I might take that if I manage to not get hit for a bunch of rooms, but I honestly think based on my current performance, that is very unlikely. Scratch a card. Damn it, I was really hoping that would pay off. Blastasis. Oh, my, my ghost died. Blastasis is a really difficult one here. I got a half soul heart there. But so far, we've gained HP, which is surprising to me. I wasn't expecting to be gaining any HP here. Right, just pretty much ignore the other Blastasis. Like I said, we need to compartmentalize the rooms, break them down. Oh, bloody hell, I still got hit. It's okay. So, see, like, as long as we don't get hit, like, three or four times, this is a really evil room. I, I will, I think I might die in this room. God damn, what the bloody hell is this room? Does, so what I was just saying, just completely ignore that, because that's now invalid. I was going to say it doesn't matter how much we get hit as long as we don't die, but now we're on the point where if we do get hit too much, we will die. So ignore what I was saying before. Fear here is working nicely. Fear plus um, our ability to get the hand to hit him. The little horn. Okay. Did get an item here. Fortunately, not one that we really need. Dude, I didn't know there was another enemy in there. Damn it. So we respawn as Blue Baby now. Which, honestly, isn't terrible. I didn't realize there was a frail in here. God damn it. This, what is this little baby that just dives around the room at, like, lightning speeds? We don't have triple shot anymore as well, which is probably a good thing. Faster fire rate and all that. Now that is exactly what we need. What that? There's a lot of shouting going on outside. What's going on? Okay, I think I think I may have saved this by taking the onk. I do. I'm not saying it for sure yet because yeah, as I just as I've just proven, I'm not good at this game. As I've just proven again, I'm not good at this game. I just lost both the hearts I gained. It's this darkness. It's it may sound stupid, but this darkness is just too dark. <laughs> oh my god. Right. That I was just about to say that could be very, very lucrative. What the hell is going on outside? There's people doing all sorts of yard work outside. Farting baby. We've saved the run. The run has saved people. We got farting, baby. Okay, you sh you guys shouldn't be too bad. One of you's basically dead already. Well, the one of you's not charging right now, which is very, very useful. If you start charging, I'll hate you. But you didn't. Good. And we're going to get at least one more charge before we get to the boss. Yeah, I think only one. But... Is if we can not get hit and get a charge and pop it and get at least one soul heart, I'm reasonably confident we can make this work. Sadly, Loki's not killing himself on his bombs anymore. Tank boys is rather nice. I'll take that. This is another really awful room here. Any room that has these these purple dudes and other enemies is always going to be a, bit, be a little bit of a dumpster fire for us. This is a room that I don't quite understand. Yeah, I got hit, unfortunately. Oh, I got hit again. Please give us double soul heart drop. Triple soul heart drop. Okay, that, that works out. I still don't... I'm still not super confident. I'm just playing really poorly right now, as you can clearly see. I'm still not super confident we can win this. Oh, God. 
This is a really hard room as well. There's going to be a lot of brimstone going on here. Yeah, yeah. God damn, this has been rough. It's like, do I do I gamble and go for some other rooms? Like, try and get another charge going? Or do I just go into the boss fight and hope for the best? I think I just go into the boss fight and hope for the best. Wait. It will spawn a black heart. So what I've, I think what I've got to do here is I've got a pop. I'm just going to pop it. It gave me the black heart and then just go in. I love the lamb fight in this. It's so cool. I, I don't know what to feel like. I, fe I feel like the lamb is a very difficult fight potentially. Already been hit. Um, very difficult fight potentially. And I've not got that much damage. So it's not going to be a super, super quick kill. Um, oh no, the herming got me. God damn it. It's like there's a potential for a death here, but there's also a potential for a win. I feel like all these herming shots are not making the potential for a win feel all that likely. Okay, I'm excited is now activated. That's not good. Okay, so it's only the body left. The body does have some weird tricks though. There you go. We got it. We got it. That was that was close. <laughs> that was a close one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you guys in the next one.